Here's an example problem involving that no greenhouse temperature formula. So this says that the moon's albedo, which is the same thing as reflectivity, is 12%. And then we're asked to figure out the no greenhouse temperature. All right, so we're probably going to use that no greenhouse temperature formula, which tells us that the temperature is 280 degrees Kelvin times the fourth root of 1 minus the reflectivity, which I'm just going to abbreviate here, divided by the distance from the sun squared. And just a reminder here, the distance from the sun needs to be in astronomical units. All right, so we're told that the reflectivity is 12%. So we're going to put that in here for the reflectivity. And now the distance, it doesn't say the distance from the sun to the moon, but since the moon orbits the earth, it's it's a fair statement to say that the moon's average distance from the sun is the same as the Earth's average distance from the sun, which is 1 AU. That's great. It's almost always a good thing when you get to put the number 1 in. It simplifies things. So the temperature, I'm just going to rewrite this with all the numbers in place. 280 Kelvin times this fourth root. 1 minus, and 12% written in decimal format, 0 0.12. I'm going to divide by 1 squared. 1 squared is just 1. And when we're dividing by 1, we get the same thing. So we can kind of just cancel that out. So we can rewrite this as 280k times the fourth root of 1 minus 0.12. All right. Let's rewrite this again, simplify one more time. 280k times the fourth root of 1 minus 0.12 is 0 0.88. Okay, let me scroll down, get a little more room here. And now I'd like to remind you that we can write a fourth root as 0.88, if we want to take the fourth root, we raise it to the one quarter power, which is the same thing as 0.88 to the 0 0.25. Um, I, I do it this way because my calculator does not have a fourth root button. Um, not many calculators will let you do it that way. So you generally have to put it into your calculator as an exponent rather than a root, and the exponent is going to be one quarter, or 0.25. So when we put that number in, we're going to get 280k times 0, sorry, times 0 0.969. Just multiply those numbers together and get 271 Kelvin. Now this is the average temperature on the moon. The daytime side of the moon is going to be hotter and the nighttime side of the moon is going to be colder. This is just an average. And if we look back up at our problem, it doesn't specify the units on the temperature, so Kelvin should be fine, um, although you could also convert this into Celsius or Fahrenheit if you're curious about what this temperature really means. And it turns out that this temperature is a couple degrees below the freezing point of water. So pretty chilly, um, not really a surprise. Most people know the moon is pretty cold.